Okay, I think my preview is disabled. This is not going to be a game video. I'm just letting you know. I have this currently on there. I'm just letting you know this is not going to be a game video whatsoever. I am currently really fucking pissed at what YouTube has just done. It seems that YouTube does not agree that freedom of speech is a thing that we should defend in the very country that it bases itself in. Because what it has done is it has banned Alex Jones and anyone else that has been portraying parts, if not the truth, about what's going on in the world. All because they think that he lied about Sandy Hook. Do you want to know what happened at Sandy Hook? He questioned what happened at, at, at Sandy Hook. If you tell me, you tell me if that's wrong. Questioning if something is right or wrong, or whether somebody else was doing something that was conspiracy. He already apologized a thousand times. Nobody wants to go and show those on CNN or any of the other ABC networks. So you could consider this my resignation, YouTube. I will not be ever putting videos on here again. And if I do, it's going to be the same damn thing that Alex Jones is doing. So if you guys want to keep on doing this, then you know what? What's the Fox Day mask? The guy, you know, uh, Anonymous, they have that mask. If you go and look at the video that came from, I, I'm all of a sudden forgetting the movie, but um, uh, V for Vendetta. Well, you just made Alex Jones a martyr. You just you didn't kill him, but you turned around and killed his fucking business. You just made him a martyr, and now you're going to have the whiplash of your own uh, base of people when they start making new channels called info wars with a with one z another z another z after that another z after that another z after that another z after that we'll make them a, oh i'll make a thousand channels called info wars i'll make a brand new freaking accounts i will make more info wars all over the freaking planet because once they ban him they're gonna ban everyone the fuck else and that's what they just did and now that's happened go ahead ban me fucking ban me wanna know why because once I'm banned, it'll be like a badge of honor. That's what it'd be like to me. Badge of honor. Being banned for speaking my mind. For speaking my opinion. And I think that the corporation's opinion over whether Alex Jones has violated community guidelines is utter trash. Now, if you would like proof that Alex Jones is not on YouTube, because there's a few times that it seems like his account went, oh, bye-bye. And then it came back the next day. So, I'm going to go and prove that if you click Alex Jones' channel, it says that the account has been terminated. It's right there. This account has been terminated for violating YouTube community guidelines. The sad part is that Ron Gibson is also deleted. Huh. So it's not just Alex Jones you were getting rid of. You were getting rid of Ron Gibson because he was doing the same thing that Alex Jones was doing. It's okay, we got Jacob Israel that's still doing some great things. And then these are the rest of these people are playing video games. But, he's next. If he could be banned, so can everyone else. If Alex Jones could be banned, then everybody else could be banned. I, I, you know, it doesn't matter if you think that Alex Jones is telling the truth or not. It was always a possibility of being able to listen to it and make your own fucking decision. And that's exactly what he was portraying. If I could work for Alex Jones, I would go there tomorrow. Because he literally fights for what I believe in. Freedom of speech. Freedom to bear arms. The, the constitutional... Uh, the, the United States Constitution is the most important thing to me. And that means that I'm conservative. So you can go ahead and ban me if you want. But you don't have to consider me as the old conservative. No, I'm like a conservative liberal. I kind of feel the same way that Alex Jones feels. But not a liberal. And I don't really care about these names. But it doesn't matter anymore. Because this is my last fucking video, basically, on YouTube. I know I'll be banned after this. And if I'm not banned, I'll be surprised. But I'll make sure that I, I get as many views as possible on this. Because this is wrong. No corporation should have the right to just do away with somebody because of what they're saying. They don't even tell us a reason. You want to give us a reason why? Are you saying for Sandy Hook? Well, then you guys are not even looking into the truth. You don't care to find out whether he really did something wrong or not. And and he's if he ever said anything really wrong, there would be people that watch him every single day and say, no, you know what, now you cross the line, man. There have been people that have done that. 
I thought that he, I thought that, um, he, uh, was too much on to, uh, uh, free, forgive the, spree, uh, for, uh, the, the, the figure of speech, but I think that he was sucking Trump's dick too hard in the beginning. Now, I honestly think that Trump's doing a good job, and anybody that thinks that he's not doing a good job is just not looking into the information, because they're too busy with their life, they're too busy to go to work, they're too busy to come home and then play video games if they're alone, or take care of their family, which is important, do those things, of course, but spend an hour a day, and go to, don't, don't go here for your information anymore, screw off YouTube, go directly to Alex Jones's website, now I'd like to see you guys get rid of that, Google, because if you try to get rid of that, then you're really going to have a problem. I really hope he's hosting it himself, and he owns the domain. And domains are like freaking, uh, like like property. They're like land. They're digital land. So once you have the rights to it, you can't tell him what to do with that. If nobody wants to go to his website, did you should have allowed your viewers to decide what they liked? Why in the world did Google not stay? Do no evil. You guys have gone evil, and I used to be completely on your side for all of this no not this for all for all the things you guys made I used to be completely there for Google like I loved Google I thought Google was great I loved their Gmail I went I used Google Voice I used all kinds of things and then somewhere between 2014 and now they have increasingly gotten far worse on the way that they view things you guys are now evil change your fucking slogan it's not what it used to be anymore. Now, I apologize for those of you that are listening to this, actually listening to this. And I know that uh, my, some of my subscribers, some of the subscribers that I have, uh, you're probably not going to like the fact that I, I just came out with this. I know some people are not going to like the fact that I came out with this. I kept my YouTube completely, completely politically free for as long as possible. But after seeing that YouTube has banned Alex Jones, I have to stand up now. Because that is wrong. I have been pushing people to watch what this man says. And I might just turn around and actually start streaming his entire freaking show live until you guys actually ban me. Because I'm getting sick of you fucking people. How the fucking... How, how can you turn around and come up with guidelines that are so easily able for anybody to break. And if they aren't easy for them to break, then please point out with an article on your own freaking website, you own half the internet, point out on your own website with his clips and provide a link to the full clip somehow where he said that Sandy Hook and the thing, uh, the crisis actors and all that bullshit, you know, I listen to those broadcasts in entirety myself. I have watched him on your platform for every single day since 2016. I have watched him for at least one or two hours or the entire broadcast. Most of the time, the entire broadcast. Everything that you guys have called him out on, I can refer to in my fucking own memory that that's not what he said. Especially when you see clips of him on CNN, Fox, or anything else. And now Fox is going bad? It sounds like... It sounds like that you guys are all going evil because you know you're losing. That's what it really sounds like. And I really, really hope you are losing because otherwise this world's going to be a very fucking scary place to live in soon. With all this gender bullshit that's going on. That stuff is fucking wrong. I don't care if you get the surgery and turn yourself into an, any, any one of the 25,000 genders do so but until you have that surgery you are whatever your part says down below that's that period that's biological that's real that's being real to yourself at least get the surgery and then you can be real to yourself again and now you have I don't care what you do with yourself but don't push it on children don't push it on other people don't try to say that children need to be treated differently because uh, because of one thing or another this is totally wrong what is wrong with people? What is wrong with the world? I thought I was the only person that was wrong in the world because I'm lazy and didn't, haven't had a job. I'm, I thought I was the only one that was like, because I'm not getting anywhere in life and, and that I, I, I repeat the same mistakes. But I thought the world was pretty much, 
pretty uh pretty smooth most of the world you know, and there was a few conflicts throughout my life. I'm only 30, 30 years old. There's a few conflicts that I heard about, I know about, you know, Desert Storm and all this other stuff. And then, yeah, Trade, Center, trade Centers, I questioned too. So did he. I actually stayed away from Alex Jones during the time that I researched that. I didn't think that, I thought he was very radical. I thought he was very out there, like, just like, wow, he's like the definition of tinfoil hat. No. He's not. It's a joke if you ever see it. But no, he's not. He's just extremely passionate. And he follows where the evidence points. No matter where it points. And that's what I love about him. And the fact that you guys have gotten rid of him on YouTube just means that your platform is now going to seriously die. And if it doesn't die, well then, you just won't have me. You won't have good people on it. You'll have all the trash. So... I'm not saying everybody that's on YouTube, if you use YouTube or if you put, if you don't care about this political stuff and you're still using YouTube, you know, by all means, that's that's what you do, man. I'm not here to 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 bash anybody who uses YouTube. I'm gonna probably still personally use YouTube for my own means on certain avenues of information, but I more likely will never be streaming on this. Um, I'm one of your first partners. Uh, that's what's really sad is that I uh, was partnered into YouTube and I'm going to tarnish my account right now and I do not care. I don't care. I, I'm going to be on Minds.com. Uh, I might be on something like Twitch or Mixer, but I am not going to be on YouTube anymore. Now, if they restore Alex Jones's channel, I may come back. But otherwise, you can consider this a boycott of YouTube, using YouTube as a video platform, I'll go to iShare before I go here. There are more websites popping up that do what you do, YouTube, and you're going to be defeated. It's just going to be slow, because you're big, and they're small, but they will grow. And that's what you don't understand about what a free market is. If you keep on stifling what people can share on here, it's one thing if you, sti if you say, well, we don't want nudity on here. Fine. That's understandable. Most people don't want to see nudity anyway. If you want that, go to a porn site. Well, we don't want, uh, you know, um, uh, grotesque things like uh, gore or something like, okay, I can understand, you know, having sort of like FCC rules. But don't tell me I can't curse. Don't tell me I can't talk, uh, turn around and talk about something controversial that's happening politically. That is a political bias that I cannot accept. You should be unbiased. That's that's what YouTube was when it came out. It was unbiased. Why are you all of a sudden biased? It's pissing me off. So therefore, I won't use it anymore. I don't really have any more else to go with this. I'm sorry for any of my subscribers or anyone else that is um, scared. Or well, not scared, but, you know, upset that I'm going to be leaving. Um... I'm sure you guys don't really give a shit anyway. I mean, I have, what, 20 subscribers? And I haven't posted a video in quite some time. And actually, this makes me feel good. Because I've been sitting here trying to think about how I make a new video. And I'm not in the right headspace for it. But I can do live streaming. I just don't do it on YouTube. So, you'll have to seek me out for the other ones. Because I'm not linking anything else here. I'm not linking anything. I'm, not, I'm, putting, a, I'm putting this as a very odd titled thing um just know that i am one hell of an angry youtuber who was attempting to get into the service was attempting to become a creator a uh, content creator and um i feel like this is no longer a safe avenue for me to 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 have any of not not safe but uh if i if he could just be banned for no reason which is pretty much what's happening he's being banned for no reason I don't care what comments you put inside this thing. He's being banned because they don't want his information out there anymore. It's too detrimental to their plan. Now, who are they? Well, he calls them the globalists. You can call them the Illuminati. You can call them whatever you want. These are the people that are in the high power, uh, positions of power, but not, but still under the president. And the, se the second we got this president into office, they have been nothing but attacking him on both sides. It's not the whole Democratic Party. It's not the whole Republican Party. It's bits and pieces of them both. But some of them are good in both ends, too. 
That's why I also try to say any person that, that likes Democrats, you know, look for the good ones. Because some of them want open borders and all this. Go watch Alex Jones if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And seriously watch his show. Like, take it as a small little thing to do. Create a, your own playlist or something. Or go to his website and you can view all of his videos. Uh, you can listen to a radio show anywhere. Watch his show and you'll know what the hell I'm talking about. That's the only thing I got to say. I really hope that uh, this is um not gonna. I I really hope that this is not gonna stand. And uh, I already said to many people that the second he got banned, this is exactly what I was going to do. And I've done it, and I'm gonna do a lot more. I'm gonna do a lot more. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is all gonna be legal. So don't worry about that. You don't need to come and threaten me or anything. You don't have to send me no letters. You don't have to give me no phone calls. Because it's not just going to be me that's doing it. Just wait until I get the following I'm going to get. And it's not going to be on your platform. YouTube, Google, Alphabet. Where the fuck you are now? You used to be something cool. Now you're just trash. Even your search engine starting to sh be become shit. Well, ta-ta.